<laughs> this thing is fun. I have gathered everyone here today to make an important announcement. Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project! So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically, Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art, they are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find, and in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. You may ask me anything, and I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. These things won't be easy to get hold of, but if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liuette Harbor's development plan for next year, then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. Ha <laughs> ha, what a coincidence. I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plush strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but um, I have some business to do. We'd better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is a huge deal! Let's get involved! So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Really? Ooh, then Paima will ask you about how to run a business! Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again! <laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have collected the materials, please take them there. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please seek out my secretary. 
Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. Ningguang seems super busy. Come on, we'd better get going. First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Look! It seems like there's something kind of fishy going on over there. Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily gonna win this procurement contest Lady Dingguang has set up. As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private, and we can get down to brass tacks. No, I don't need it. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go! Why don't you stand there after her? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. <sighs> if you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't... No more excuses! <sighs> okay. I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food and only taking a few bites. Then she knew a kiosk, then Wanmin restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. 
How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. The Millilith? What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? <clears throat> you ought to mind your own business, I swear! Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please, let me explain. <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is, well, Paimon. And this is Paimon's travel buddy. Oh, I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. <gasps> you can't do that. That's way too violent. This is Leela Harbor. There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know. Laws? No, apparently not. Really? So, how exactly have you... <sighs> that would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry! So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Hmm, Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are my usuals. Hmm, medicinal herbs? Kinda hard to explain. Hmm. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a big medicinal meal! After all, you can't work on an empty stomach! Psst. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? It seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things work here. If she is an adeptus, that would explain everything. Where does she fit in with the other adepti, though? Hmm. I'm super curious. Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingson, glaze lily, and violet grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. She's really eating them! My hunger has now abated. Thank you. Rather awful. Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food and eat it all in one go! Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. 
Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains. That proves it. Paimon knew she was an adeptus. Mm, enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, right. Paimon almost forgot. We came out to take part in the Rebuild the Jade Chamber competition. And... And now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when I was passing by. <laughs> yep! You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win! Were you interested in the contest too, Shenhe? Hmm, I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Wow! You really don't have to. But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Mm, I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the victors. Vito! That is not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Really? But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? <sighs> Sunset Vermilion Night, Wonder Course, and Adepti Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for Plastrite... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, it's you. Baishu, what are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so... I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Huh? How come Lady Ningguang needs so much wound dressing all of a sudden? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customer's personal affairs. Oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by any chance? No, no. We've got other stuff to do. Um, while you're here, though, you seem to know a lot. Have you ever heard of something called Sunset Vermilionite? Ah, the variety of plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very rare indeed. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more about this than I do. Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. I can't read what this says. Why does Lady Ningguang need so much wound dressing? Is it really such risky business rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is all most peculiar.
Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The Guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Xingxiu. Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the Guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Singchio. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Xingqiu, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. As well? Do you mean... The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one piece. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction, and a lot of interested parties have already come to us inquiring about the price. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million mora. 500 million?! Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated, and it's just not worth it. Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard of Seagazer? Who? Hmm. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of Drifting Clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilionite. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross-referencing them against each other, I'm now fairly certain that it is situated in the Lisha area. That's great! Um, but is it really okay for us to just go and take his treasure? Wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful with him being an adeptus? <laughs> <laughs> you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then, let's go. Hmm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Plus, it's likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. So please, be very careful. Okay, we will be. Thanks, Xingqiu.
Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new Sealy over there? waterfall just now? How did we suddenly end up here? Oh, so many clouds. It feels like we're high up in the sky. Hmm, I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With any luck, the sunset familiar night we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see! Huh? Isn't that the Sealy from before? Look! It's gone and snuck beneath the clouds! And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete! Oh, could there be something below the clouds? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an Adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adepti art. Alright, then let's do it! I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. Yeah! 
Manifest! Obey! Unleash! Obey! It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Solidify! This is order! Manifest! Unleash! The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. We need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Unleash! 
Order guide you. Ha! Ha! Opening box of the Death Eye Tricks. Solidify. Verdict is. Go. Swirl, mark two. Animal test sixty three oh eight. Order. Stabilize. Unleash! 
Cryo incarnate! Manifest! In your dreams! Eyes. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. <sighs> Stand clear! Stabilize!
Prostrate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha. You seem to know everything about this. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. Hold on a sec! Paimon just realized something. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky too! But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely! Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Are you sure? Uh, be careful! Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. My safety. That's right! Paimon's sure you can handle it and everything, but if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense! Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go on ahead with the Plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. able to carry that huge rock all by herself. Huh. Adept I super strength much? We can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I We had a handful of scoundrels try to sneak in and steal some supplies earlier. I caught them, and they'll be dealt with according to the law. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. 
how can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing, so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. What do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhe! Shenhe! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold her head up high and break into a big, smug smile! I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, cause that's how adepti are! At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive, too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not. Uh... Shenhe? <sighs> I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. No need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. All right? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Okay. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking! Let's head to our hotel! You know something? I heard that Lady Kuching has gone to Guyun Stone Forest. She took a lot of our workers with her, too. So does that mean there's another construction project going on over there as well? Now we have the plostrite. The real construction work can finally begin. I think everyone's going to be very busy from this point onwards. Me especially. <sighs> that young lady who carried the plostrite in earlier? She's got to be an adeptus, surely. I heard a good few of my comrades have been sent over to Guyun Stone Forest. I sure hope they'll be safe out there.
Hi there. Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers, either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Shenha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Paimon's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Paimon couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> All right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. Hey! Isn't that Claff Retainer? What's she doing here? Hmm. Let's go and say hi. One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? So far, so good. Yeah! So, you know Shen He too, Cloud Retainer? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He, to some degree. Adeptus name anyway. Calling her Shenhua feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking maybe it'd be better if we call 